You mentioned uh, maintaining authenticity in the recipes within their respective cultures. Can you tell us a little bit about that that part of the process and how you were able to to work with the community to maintain yeah. authenticity? Absolutely. So initially, when I was starting the research, I wasn't just you know googling the location. I was I was going deep into travel blogs and uh, YouTube videos and and seeing people who took a video of a street vendor making a food that they loved and then trying to kind of process what that was and then doing a lot of of translating recipes that aren't in. Um, or websites that aren't in English and kind of trying to, to assess what they are talking about. Um, and once I had the basis for the, the recipes for each location, we then went out to um, the, those different forums and, and fan sites um, from, from all around the world. And we brought those recipes to the people and said, is this something that you've made before? Is this authentic? Would you eat this? How, how can we make changes? And we got amazing feedback. Uh, people were responding saying, okay, yeah, I mean, you, you can eat it like this at a restaurant, but when my mom makes it, she puts this in it and that's the real authentic way. And then someone else saying, okay, but my grandpa puts this in and this is how you do it. Um, so there were times that I had to kind of make some executive decisions um, <laughs> based off of like which little spice should be in there. But it was, it was so cool. And when we got responses back from, um, from those fans or from any of my recipe testers saying, this is it, like this is, this is authentic, I knew that I, I did something well.